Should the return jets in my pool be facing up or down in the water? Now, the way that the returns function in your pool is not just for the diffusion of clean and chlorinated water, though it is, of course, for those. It's also for the vortex of the pool such that the skimmer is able to perform its function properly. So in order to have the water vortexing in your pool, what you would aim to do with your return eyeballs is aim them such that you can only just begin to see the surface of the water having just a slight bit of motion and agitation. Some people will attempt to aim their eyeballs very low, deep into the water, thinking that this should help with, you know, thermoclines and more even distribution of warm water, and possibly it would, but within the, the body of the volume of water that you're, you're aiming this eyeball into, it's really just getting lost into the deep end of your pool. And again, you would be neglecting the vortex function of your skimmer at that point, and you're probably ending up with a lot more floating debris in your pool than you need to have. If, uh, conversely, if you were to aim the eyeballs up such that they're basically breaking the surface of the water and you're seeing some bubbling and oxidation of the water itself, that's not ideal. And if you did that, again, you're not getting the proper vortex of your water, but you're also probably artificially increasing the pH of your water. Anytime that you agitate water and add oxygen to it, you're going to be raising the pH. So again, the optimal direction to have the return eyeballs facing is aimed such that you can just barely see the surface of the water starting to move around a little bit. And that is the optimum direction and optimum placement to get the best vortex of the swimming pool so that your skimmers function properly. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.